In this video, we take a look at how to create a Christmas promo flyer like this. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. I see your link to download all these resources that I'll be using in this video will be in the description. Plus, I got a stress for you to use when you are practicing. So you can download all of this. A link will be in the description for free. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. First of all, we're going to create this for social media, specifically Instagram. So we're going to use the Instagram size and I'll be using Photoshop CS6, but this should work for any of the latest versions of Photoshop. So you go to file and then new, and then over here, you're going to set your measuring scale to inches. You can either create four by four, eight by eight or 16 by 16. The only thing that will change is the size here and then the resolution. So I decided to go for eight by eight so that the resolution will be quite clearer. And then I click OK. Now over here, the first thing that you need to do is go to your resource. I got this particular background. So we drag and drop it inside of Photoshop. It is already made up. So you don't really have to make a lot of adjustments to this one. So you open it up to the size that you want, and then you can hold shift and then drag it up a little bit like that so that it creates space for you to put all that you want to put over here. Next off, you right click on this one, rasterize the layer, go to filter, and then you go to blur and then Gaussian blur here. We want to blur this out a little bit so that you don't see all of these Christmas things over there. We want it there, but we don't want to see it very solid. So you can increase the blurness over here a little bit and then you click OK. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to add a bit of adjustment to it. So you can use either the curves by pressing Ctrl and then M or you can use the levels. I prefer to go with the levels. So you press Ctrl and then L and then you can actually drag this to the right a little bit so that it adds a bit of shadows to it so that this place can be a bit brighter we want to put something there so you go ahead and then you click ok now next i want to add a new layer here so i come to this particular button and then i click on create new layer i want to go for my brush tool so i go for my brush tool here i make sure that opacity is 100 percent and then i can increase the size a little up like that let me go up a little bit more so something like this i right click to check that my hardness also is zero percent and then i can make one stroke or two stroke of brush over here so something like that now i want to go back into our resource again so over here we have this best background you can search for best background if you are looking for types like this and i got about three for you so you can use any of them that works best for you but for me this one worked very well so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i'm going to scale it up a little bit like that we're going to create something very nice over there so you want to scale it up something like this and then you double click on it now you right click rasterize the layer you can press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate it and then you can go ahead and change the blending mode over here to overlay you can try with soft light or overlay either of them that works best for you or even something like multiply so you can see right well from here that overlay looks quite better we can try to adjust it as we proceed so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to create a layer mask around this bust background so you add a layer mask to it you choose your brush tool and then you go to the layer mask over here let's try to clean the edges around i don't know if you are getting the concept that i'm coming up with so you clean these edges we don't want all of these ones so you clean it so that it will look pretty much like a circle so something like that so you take your time and then you can clean all of this and then if it feels so big you can press ctrl t and transform it so we can come back to this particular red that we created and then you can decrease the opacity a little bit and this feels pretty much very big so you press ctrl t and then you can transform it a little bit like that so that is exactly what i'm looking for now it is time to add the items that you're going to use for this promo flyer and i decided to go for the latest gadgets in the tech world the ps5 the iphone 12 pro and some beautiful flat screen just to make the 
promo very catchy okay so what i do is first of all i'm going to bring this flat screen so you can see from here that i got three for you you can use the rest when you are practicing and i'm going for this one so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop now we want to make sure that it is centered okay so we want to bring this one down a little bit like that somewhere around here and then you can take it to this side now i want to make a duplicate and i want to send it on top of this one make sure that you send it on top of the best background so i want to make sure that it is quite bigger like that or oh, let's say this one is okay and then i want to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j press ctrl t and then i want to transform it to be a bit smaller and i want to drag it over here so something like this we want to create a promo flyer so we are creating something quite catchy okay so something like this and i'll select the two and try to transform it you let's add a rest so if there is any room for transformation we're definitely going to transform it so on top of that we want to go inside of our resources and we have the new latest ps5 if you want to get a ps5 for me um or open up please send it over i'm waiting so we want to bring that one also here we want to transform that out like that and we want to make sure that it is in alignment with this one so i want to put it over here now you can transform it out a little bit something like that and then you make sure that it is quite in position with the flat screen so you can make it aligned using this one so you can bring it over here or you can just leave it like that now we don't want the controller at one side and then the the game the console at one side so you want to right click on this one rasterize it choose the rectangular market tool here and then we can make a selection of the controller you right click on it and then you can cut it out something like that and then you can bring that one over here so that it will be like it is on top of the console now we want to go into our resource again and we have the latest iphone 12 pro and then we want to bring it inside over here again if you want to get me an iphone 12 pro i'm all here what are friends for you can just send it over so i want to position it over here something like that and i want to bring it down a little bit so something like this and that pretty much means that the console would have to be adjusted a little bit as well so that it can be of the same level as the iphone 12 pro and then the flash screen so i think this looks good now the last thing that we want to bring in here is the sony a7i so we want to bring that one also here and then you take your time to transform it and you can position it right over here so the whole idea of this whole design is that you take something out of your store that is very catchy and then you use it as the promo don't just go and take anything from the store and then use it for the promo so you see these are very eye-catching things that people would want to win or would want to buy to win something like that okay so the next thing that we want to do is we're going to group all of these ones and we press ctrl g to do that so that it can be in one side we can press ctrl a and then make sure that it is centered something like that and then we don't want to leave this hanging you see this is pretty much like it is hanging in the air so we want to create a bit of shadow underneath of all of these items so to do that underneath of this group we want to create a new layer so we create the new layer over here so it has to be under of the group that we just created and then we're going for our brush tool now you can press d to reset your brush so we have the black on top here and then we go for the brush tool now we want to make sure that this is at zero percent the hardness is at zero percent and then you want to decrease the size of the brush so you can right click and then you can decrease the size now zoom in here and then underneath or at the bottom here we want to make some small painting so you have to just take your time to make the painting something like that okay so this is how it goes and i'm using brush so it may sometimes just be as weird but this has to be it and then you go to the console as well you do the same thing for the rest of the items that you have so that it doesn't really look like it is hanging in thin air and when you get to a point where uh, the item is very small like the the controller here you can decrease the size of the brush a little more 
and then you can paint over there like that and then you can do the same thing for the camera here now we are done and this doesn't really look like it is hanging out if you you can see from here that when i turn off this shadow you can see the difference right over there so this you can give it a name like shadow over here and it doesn't really look like it is hanging out and from there we can add it to the group so that it will all be in one group so something like that and we are good to go now the last things that we want to add will be the test and we're going to do that right away so on top of the group let's go and pick the test tool right from here we're going to use about three fonts and we start right away so the first font that we're going to use is called als script i'll leave links to download all the fonts also in the description so we go for als script and then we're going to type christmas so christmas over there you press ctrl a to select it all and then you can change the color to white here and then you click ok now you make sure that you press ctrl t to transform it to the size that you want you can use ctrl a to center it as this and then we want to add a bit of blending options to it so you right click and go to the blending options from here and then a few things that we want to add will be the shadow from here so you can increase the shadow a little bit like that and then you go to the outer glow and you can change this one to anywhere from this red somewhere around here so somewhere around here and you click ok and then you can increase the size so that it's kind of brighten or add some bit of glow to it once you're done with everything you just click ok and then you're good to go so this is for the christmas that next thing that we want to add will be the promo so you press ctrl j to make a duplicate of this test and then you can drop it down over here now let's right click on this one and let's clear the layer styles as we don't want that layer style over there now let's select all of these ones go to the test and we want to use a font called good times so we want to change this to promo now we want to select all of these ones and go to the toggle character and then we can set this to about minus 30 as we want it to be a bit close up and then we click ok from here so something like that you take your time to press ctrl t and then you can transform it a little bit like that so somewhere around here now let's go to the blending options and let's add just one blending option to it and that will be the drop shadow so right over there we can add a drop shadow like that and you click ok so we want to go back to our resource and we have this particular christmas decor so let's drag that also into photoshop over here and let's drag it on top of the promo let's try to transform it out to be a bit smaller and let's place it over here it has to be quite that very small so somewhere around that area and then you can right click rasterize the layer go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then we can add a bit of blur to it so something like that you press ctrl l and then you can add a bit of adjustment to it so that it brightens the more now we can come to this group over here and push it down a little bit so that there can be space between that group and that of the promo and from there we can go to the christmas decor and then we can push it down a little bit like this and finally we can add our last test over here so what are the conditions terms of conditions and everything or let's say any further information you can put it underneath of here and for that you're going to use a font called sfui display so a link will be in the description to download it as well so sf let me just go and search for it this font always give me tough time so sfui display right over there and then i have over here a test that i wrote down so i'm just going to copy that come to this side and i'm going to paste it so i want to select it all and i can actually scale it down a little bit like that and i want to center it over here and i want to select all of this go to the toggle character and turn off this particular fox italic because i want it to be very bold and seen and it has to be centered as well so that is it the terms and conditions of your promo and then your company name has to be over here and 
if you want you can put if you have a logo or anything like that you can put it at this very end and finally inside our resource we, we've got this splash dotted splash over there so we want to put it underneath of this one so let me come and just select it over here and let me go into the resource this dotted splash i'm just going to bring them inside of photoshop and i'm going to leave them over here it looks pretty much like snow if you take a very critical look at it and in my previous promo flyer i showed you how to do this that is why i didn't have to go all over to show you again and that's pretty much it that's how to create a very basic or a very simple christmas flyer but let me just try and open this one up a little bit so let me just try and open this one what do you think do you think it should be this brighter or it should be like this or even with this one let's try to decrease the opacity what do you think do you think the brighter one is okay or we should just maintain it like the very dark so that's it that's how to create a very simple christmas promo flyer if you're a business entity and you want a free template of this one leave in the comment section below i'm going to send you a link to download it for free thank you so much for sticking around to watch please don't forget to like subscribe and check the other videos and i'll see you guys in the next one christmas has already started and merry christmas in advance it's innocent here and bye